In this short documentary, a 61-year-old mother of two tries psilocybin-containing mushrooms for the first time. Psilocybin-containing mushrooms grow naturally in all parts of the globe. However, they are still classified as illegal in many countries. Recently, there has been a new surge of research into the potential beneficial effects of psilocybin. These studies include, but are not limited to, help overcoming depression, addiction, and PTSD. These studies are being done by the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. For more information, follow the links in the video description. I'm really taking chances. This is unusual. This is forbidden. I've always had a closed mind to all this kind of thing. No, no thinking about it, no discussion. So this is odd for me. So why are you doing this today? That's, that's a really good question. Hmm. Could it help you break bad habits? You know, I do. Could it help? Could it stop me from wanting to please everybody all the time? I like to get to the root of that one. I'm always trying to be a people pleaser. I I just don't want to lose my my sanity. To err on the side of caution, she has decided to take a very modest dose. She will be consuming one gram of psilocybin cubensis. This is the smallest dose available to feel a desired effect. Considering her age and weight, this is a very safe dose for her. No one has ever died due to a psilocybin mushroom overdose. However, extremely challenging experiences have caused users to never be the same again. It's like a, it's like a fire up my spine, but I'm freezing. No, I know it's too early, but it's just slowing me enough down to how I, I would think normally when I, before I turned 20. Everything was slowed down, and after that I got, everything got faster. Twitchy, feels like twitchy lights kind of pulsing. Is that part of it? You look at pulse, look at pulsing. No, I mean, everything is normal, but it's just that pulse, not normal at Are you all. sure you feel anything? I do. I told you I've got that choked up feeling in here and my head feels very spacey. <laughs> You're sitting there, right? And I just saw you barbecued half your head. It's, just like, it's like at a barbecue, you know? <laughs> How'd you get your head out of the barbecue? <laughs> I put a hat on. It's not like there yet, but it's starting to peak the, like, Well, I don't have to film me anymore, Adam. It's fine. I feel vulnerable. I don't think I do this again. Oh, I'm sorry. My BO's getting smelly. Is he I just saw it hit Ben when he's talking. I feel like he's the outside of an airplane. His head is growing as he's talking and he's facing the pilot. It looks purple. His head. Blimp, blimp is talking, right? But I see his head like a looking through the window while the pilot's flying the airplane. Just take that away, okay? It's not so much outside you see everything. It's when you close your eyes you see stuff. That's it. That's where the, that your inner world is different. It's like those paintings. You almost got caught in the threshold of a doorway. It was a dark doorway. I don't know, it just looks uh And you had to kneel for forgiveness. I don't know. I don't know what I'm seeing this stuff in my head. I don't see this stuff normally. And then I just see you in the art gallery. Like this is all like part of an exhibition of some sort. We're all an exhibition. Yep, that's how it would feel being recorded. How do you feel right now? Calm. I spilled stuff on me, I didn't even know I did. I just washed this. You feel calm? Yeah, I feel really calm. So your anxiety's gone now? Mm hmm. I feel like my, oh, I could be anybody. I could be you. I could go be Ben. I could be Lindsay. It's like you just step into anyone's consciousness. I just saw it with Lindsay, I guess with the book and everything. That was, the pages were made of glass. This book? Yeah, all the pages were made of glass. <laughs> Dragon palsy. Oh my. You're in a nightmare right now? No, I think how I've lived in my head has been a nightmare. Wow. When really at the 
this whole experience has started seeing all the beauty everywhere. How beautiful everything is. And then I turn into this nightmare. Hmm. It cuts me off. That's what it did. When you start facing, like, looking at that, those pictures in your head, it cuts you off. I would say that what turned it awful for me was not allowing, not feeling good about how I creatively, creatively see things. But I tell you, that tree out there, which you would never see, like it helped me to see that that tree actually has a face on it. Would you do this again? No. No, I wouldn't do it under a scrutiny of a camera. I'd only do it if I was in a crisis and I really needed um, guidance, but not, not, not under the duress of someone watching you and asking you questions. You would like it to be much more of a... something that you do out in the woods or something with someone close to you, but not, not in front of a camera. We're calling my mom right now to find out how her next day... Hello? Hi. It's Adam. Oh, hi, Adam. You're on, you're on speakerphone right now. Explain how you felt today. Um, that, I re that I reconnected with my real self. That I got rid of stuff that was holding me back from being myself. Like I'm a bunch of lies. You got rid of a bunch of lies? Yeah. Okay. So overall... I see. So you don't regret uh, doing it then? No. No, not at all. You feel clarity? You said something else. My intuition came back stronger, which I, that I lost connection to. My intuitiveness came back. Okay, so you felt some beneficial effects, but they happened the next day. More so the next day. I see. Thanks for watching everyone. Our videos are made possible thanks to your support on Patreon.com. If you would like to help us make more of them, then we really appreciate your support. And if you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like, and if you haven't already, then subscribe to our channel for more psychedelic-related videos.